Oh my god, what are they gonna do now? God damn, Bertel, that's the ultimate freaking Titan. I never even thought of him using like the houses as weapons. Wait, do you think that they're trying to destroy Aaron's house? Yo, talk about a guy who really destroyed this city. If it wasn't for Bertold, none of this would have ever happened. Everything. So you know what? I take everything back. Whatever feelings they had to teaming up and being friends during their military days, I don't care, man. It was all Bertold. Oh, look at Armin. He's freaking having a freaking panic attack over there. All these freaking peoples, come on, work together, stab him in the ass! He's not even looking your way! Hey, look at Levi, oh my god. They're going after Bigfoot. Dude, when you really think about it, it's like they're playing a game of chess. What's going on? Huh? Oh, what the hell? What the hell, they're all dead? What did he do? Oh, he threw rocks too? What the hell? The first pitch was a warm-up? Really, my guy? I'm going for a perfect game? Freaking baseball turns and attack on Titan? What? What is this, a baseball anime? Oh... No, do what the hell? You're so dead. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I figured Levi's gonna tell him to retreat back into where, like, Aaron and the group is at. But that's where freaking Bertol is. Dude, they're so stuck in, in a rock and a hard place. Oh. Arwen's talking about leaving the. Horses, maybe? <gasps> and what happened to Hanji? No! Ooh, have hope. No, she can't be dead. I like how they're just standing there while this dude is throwing debris. And they still don't really have much of a plan. Can't really run away, can't really fight back. <sighs> There's no surrender! Yo, he doesn't even care about Aaron anymore. They're charging towards Bertold. Ooh. Oh, they're gonna use a Thunder Spear? Oh, they're right in front of him! Here we go! Oh my god! Go full Shadows of Colossus and start climbing on top of him, you know? Oh, yeah, epic. He's like just fighting his big toe! Oh my air, you're about to fly! The hell now this turned into freaking soccer? I didn't know Attack on Time was a sports anime. Oh. Are you really knocked out, my guy? Okay. They're still trying to attack Bertold. Oh look at this guy leading the troops. Is he even capable? Oh, sneak attack maybe? Oh, get out! Like, you got, you got eyes behind the back of your head? Jesus. Really? What the? You, you, he's so damn steamy, how? Whoa, Minkasa's saying facts here. My guy, what's the plan? Thinking something, you're a smart guy! And they still got nothing. Yo, these motherfuckers are all about to die! Oh my god. Yo, look. Mr. Gorilla destroyed all the houses. Wow, Levi's talking about fleeing. Wake Aaron up. And just freaking run away. Ooh. The horse got away. Like it matters. Oh, this guy gave up. Dude, you can't give up in war? It's literally life or death, my guy! Have to hope that you're winning! If you think you already failed, you're gonna die! Well, this is very deep, man. Wow. Levi wants to fight the beast, Titan? 
Whoa, he's willing to die just to be able to get both Aaron and, and Erwin out of here. Oh, he's trying to do the ultimate sacrifice. Wait, 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 what are they talking about now? What they will take the recruits? Wait, what, what are they talking about? Where are you going? <laughs> it's like, I don't want to die without learning what's in the basement. <sighs> I want to go to the basement. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I think everybody wants to know what the hell's in the basement. Can you see them, our comrades? Oh my god. Damn right, Levi sees them. Ah. Uh, give up on your dream and you die? Ooh. I will take down the beast time. Alright. This is like the fourth time you said it in today's episode. Go do it! Jesus Christ. You guys need a hug. Dude, you figure this guy's arm is tired by now. All those rocks he's throwing. Wait, these motherfuckers are charging? A suicide charge? Oh, what are they doing? Whoa, what are they planning? The final operation? Oh. So they're gonna act as decoy as Levi gets closer and closer to the Beast Titan. So they're trying to distract him. Oh my god, Levi! No fucking way! Pretty much they're all going to die! Uh, I don't blame her for throwing up! Oh my god, look how apparent they say it. We're charging to die. And they're gonna die fighting. <laughs> they gotta love his battle cries. So creepy looking. Here we go! Oh! 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 Oh no! No. Oh my god, no! I, I just, I, I knew it. I had this feeling that Erwin was gonna bite the bullet. I had a feeling this, this adventure, this sort of mission of stopping, you know, the beast tie-in and whatnot. I had a feeling he was going to die. And it's a shame, because I love his character. He's my favorite character out of the whole show. His characteristics, his mindset, you know. Uh, everything about him is just, he, he, you need a person like that in the intense uh, survival of humanity. Today's episode was brilliant. Well, well done. It's sort of like that hype for, you know, that big fight that we're currently seeing. Yeah, today's episode was a little bit slow, but it's hyping us for what's about to happen in the next one. Like, is Levi really going to be able to fight the Beast Titan? Is he even going to be able to kill him? I also like how the conversations were asked in today's episode, how in war, there are always victims. There's always casualties. There's always going to be that soldier who will die. And in death, they're labeled heroes, you know. And I like how um, some of the soldiers in today's episode were like, fuck that shit. You know, I wanted to be a hero, but I don't know if I want to die. I like how everything was questioned. What a beautiful, beautiful episode. So I guess uh, being cornered uh, by the Beast Titan, him throwing freaking rocks like a silly little goose, both Erwin and Levi hashed out a plan. Uh, Erwin decided, like, yo, I'm not going to die just waiting here to be, you know, thrown rocks at. I'm going to fight to the death. Even though his life, his goal was to find out what was in that basement. And it looks like he's not going to be able to accomplish that. Or will he, in a way of being able to pass that torch to the next person, and by, I don't know, having Levi survive, by having Levi kill that Beast Titan, his sort of dream still lives on, even though he can't accomplish it himself. It's a very deep, touching episode. My God. I definitely would like to watch this episode again when it gets dubbed. Honestly, one of the best episodes of the season so far. So, hey, what do you guys think of today's episode? Did you like it? Did you hate it? I would love to know what you guys think. I know it was a little bit slow. Maybe a lot of people didn't like how dialogue-heavy the episode was. So, I'm very curious what you guys think. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't before. And, as always, God bless you. Thanks so much for watching. And, farewell for now. Bye-bye.